everyone and welcome back for episode 2 in our Shooter AI tutorial series. Where we left off last time is we got the enemy just shooting at us all the time, no matter if we were hidden or not. What we're doing in this episode is make it so that when we are hidden, he stops shooting and when he sees us again, he resumes shooting. Okay, so to handle this, we're going to use the AI perception uh, system. To access this, you go onto the enemy AI controller and you'll go to add component on your top left component list. In here, type in AI perception like so. In your AI perception component details, if I click on it on the right hand side, you'll see senses config. It should say zero array elements. Click, uh, click the add element button to its right and in this new drop down choose the site config expand this open by opening up the arrows until you get this screen the main thing we need to do here is change the detection by affiliation we have to turn all these on because uh, Unreal 4 at the moment as far as I'm aware is yet, does not yet support this, it's bugged Okay, so if you took them all on click compile and we are done so that's the perception what we're also going to do is go onto our third person character and we're going to add the stimuli source to them so AI perception stimuli source and in here we don't need to do anything uh, as far oh no yep go on the right hand side you'll see register as source for senses click the little add element and choose the site uh, AI sense site. Click compile, and that's all we have to do here. So this stimuli source uh, basically tells us that the third person character is going to be a source of this uh, of stimulation for the AI perception series, meaning that when this character does something or is seen, it triggers the AI perception system on all those who have that component. Okay, with that component in mind, we need to. Uh, go and add a blackboard key to our behavior tree. So go to your blackboard if you haven't got it, go to your behavior tree and click on the top right. And we go new key. And you'll choose a ball for this. And I'm going to call my one can see player. And the idea behind this is when this is true, it continues to shoot, and when it's false, it will abort the shooting. Okay, so. With that made, we're going to enemy AI controller again. And with the AI perception component uh, selected, right click and go add event for AI perception. And in there you'll see add on target perception updated. And this event will trigger every time it is updated. So when it's seen and when it's not seeing the player. So when it comes into view and when it goes away from view, this will update both times. So first thing you do is check whether or not the actor is a player character. Now we can do a cast for this if we want. To a third person character. And that's probably the easiest way of doing it. Um, it. It can be quite expensive, so you could do other mains, you could do a tag system for example, if you've got, which is especially handy if you've got a multiplayer going on. Um, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna do a cast. Um, serves our purposes just fine. So as third person character, uh, when this would come this way, back up, back up. When you have cast third person character, it will take a true, if it is the actual player. And if it is true, we want to update that blackboard. So right click and do get blackboard. And then from there, we're going to set a blackboard value as ball. And we want the key name. We're gonna make a little one. Make a little name just means you type type in whatever the name is. So we just type in exactly what we typed in earlier as our name of our blackboard key. Okay, so set value as ball. This is setting it on the blackboard component. And the stimulus, if we right click on that, we can split it and it because it's a data structure. And you'll see stimulus successfully sense. So when it can see it, um, 
or can hear it or whatever this means true where it doesn't doesn't hear it or doesn't see it this returns false so we'll plug that into ball value there click compile and close that down now go back to your behavior tree and the easiest way of doing the stop shooting is with what we currently have in our shoot so the way it currently works is that when it hits the focus and then we're telling it to shoot and it stays in the shoot task um, until we tell it not to but for the moment where we're currently at it will stay in there forever so what we do is do an exit plan for it for when it is aborted so open up your shoot and where we have we use the receive execute AI there's also an abort one so if we go right click abort receive abort AI you can now have basically the same stuff we got here here so I can get a controlled pawn and cast to enemy and as enemy I can tell it to stop shoot and then from there I can do a finish abort and click compile so when this is aborted this will stop shooting to abort it we're going to go right click and go add decorator and we'll choose the blackboard component as the task the decorator click on this individual decorator here and we can change it to be observer aborts in the details here to self so it aborts its current task and we will change its blackboard key to can see player and we want it to only enter if it is set to true so is set it will leave as is click save and then go back to your map to test this out so here he is shooting at us and if I were to hide from him he'll stop shooting and he resumes shooting when he sees me again like so okay so we're getting there we are getting there so that's kind of it for this episode um, what we're going to be doing next is getting him to start moving around and uh, chasing the player down and shooting at the player so he'll play very aggressively he'll uh, chase the player stay at a certain distance away from the player and try and shoot them from a distance that they can still see the player at okay so that's what we're doing next week and that'll be using the EQS system so if you haven't watched the EQS system uh, tutorial videos go over to EQS tutorial videos check them out get a primer on how that system works if you want to see the next episode right now head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey where you can subscribe for at least one dollar and join our community and see those videos as well as many others early before anyone else if you have any questions comments or um requests please leave a comment below in of the video and don't forget don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time bye bye